G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. I've got about an hour and a half up my sleeve before my mate's hitting the ramp. We're gonna do a live bait and jack session tonight. But I thought I might as well try and catch a few brim. It's got a little gob crabby rigged up. Just gonna hit a few rock walls in here. Yeah, just get a, see if I can get a quick brim session out of the way before we start throwing the cast net and getting everything sorted out for this evening. So this might be a video catching a few, a little quick edit, but we'll see how we go. All right, just like always, gold crabby, 140th hidden weight, TT jig head, seven foot three, one to three kilo rod, six pound leader, six pound main line. Super simple. Light, light, light. Gets the bite. And check your drags. Straight into it. No B-roll today. Quick video. Oh, here's the fish first cast. <gasps> you kidding, aren't you? I was just about to back. That thing didn't even. Oh, I didn't even know I was hooked, man. It just woke up. <laughs> first cast. Not how it's meant to happen. Wow. I thought that was just a little brim. It just went tap, tap. I think mean, that was a little trevally or something. <laughs> that's cool. That sucks, but that's cool. When I'm rigging these, I bite a little piece off. Just enough to get the hook right into the head of the body. And then I did do the little snip of the claws trick just to trim the body down trim the length of the bait down take away those short strikes so that a little chunky crabby all right let's try and it wasn't an overly tight drag he just went to go round two the tiniest little tap it was like further away from the wall i i thought the cast was just about done with that thing took off hey eh? like hit dead set just stepped up a gear i got an incoming tide i didn't check the tides i was coming fishing no matter what but it's definitely incoming i'd say it's got an hour or so left in it damn really wish i got that fish now Oh, there was a big flash behind that. Oh, he pulled that bait. He ripped that bait off. Yeah, ripped that bait clean off. Come on. Give me an eat. Yep. Oh, bloody cod. <laughs> That's not a brim. There goes his crab, do you know? Not a brim. Well, that's three cod. Had me fooled for a brim for a second. I've said it before, but fishing this bait, like lightly weighted, bio bait, you don't have to do a lot. Get it in, just let it sink. The contour of those rocks is gonna dictate that I've gotta move that bait a little more than I would next to a pontoon or a pylon. Just get it in, let it sink. 
little hops just to keep it away from the rocks, let it follow that gradient. And it should just go clunk. You can see when you got a little bit of wind with this real light line, that belly starts to blow. So I just drop that rod tip straight to the surface, throw that belly a line straight on the top of the water so it's not gonna blow and drag the bait. And I can still see it do its little tick if it gets eaten. Oh, he had that. Oh, he, oh, he grabbed it again. Oh, that little fish just ripping, yeah. Tearing my bait to bits. One of the ugliest looking crabbies ever, this thing. That was an estuary cod. I saw him come swimming up to eat that. <laughs> These things can fit it in their mouth, even when they're tiny. Look at that, the brim chewed the bait to pieces. And then he come along and ate it. What a twat. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Stay on there, buddy. He's just got his head down. Oh, another bloody cod. <laughs> I wonder he went hard at the start. Cod on brim. Cod on brim. goes his crab launch. Might be an estuary cod masterclass. How to catch cod on crabbies. Give me one good brim before I gotta get back to the ramp and I'll be stoked. I was aiming for three good brim. I thought if I get three good brim, happy days. Oh, little fish. The time's getting away from us. I get over how many boats are coming and going and how many boats are at the bloody ramp for a Tuesday. No one bloody works anymore. There's a fish. Moses perch. Little Moses. Kidding, aren't you? Yep. Oh, what's this? A little Trevally or something? He's shaking. Oh, there's a brim. Holy hell, a quarter brim. I wouldn't have thought it the way I've been going. Oh, can't even net him. Stay still, buddy. Normally I would not claim that or hold it up to the camera, but I am trying to film a quick brim video. Finally got one, just on that gulp crabby. Only tiny and spiky. And we got one. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, 
pulled out of it. Far out, that thing was big. Damn it. Oh, he had it all over me and I backed off on him, he come out. And Yahoo's racing in here past me. Damn it. That was the one. Possibly a little jack that guy. <laughs> What's the time? I've got probably five minutes. Damn, that was a good fish. Hindsight, I probably shouldn't have backed it off on him as early, but he felt big, took line, was turned the right direction. I'm like, yep, all right. Go easy. Finish this session, I'm gonna have to throw the cast net and get bait. Oh, eat it, buddy. Didn't know if I'd get a video out of this, so I only got the one brim and a couple of cod, but that bust up at the start, bust off at the start, and that little, hey, there's a bit of action there. Oh, another snag. Come on, couple of casts left. Oh, the thing was swimming out with it. Hey, I got the hooks in that guy. Shit. Dropped the rod. Not a big brim by any means, but I got a couple on the board. Missed two good fish now. I only had an hour and a half, quick little session, but yeah, got some fish. It'll be a nice little quick edit. That bird's got that cicada. He's not happy with it. Oh, you're kidding. I just got popped off, man. That just went dunk straight into the rocks. Oh, man. Straight in there. <sighs> All right, that's the end of that little brim session. It was uh, short and sweet. Got a couple of fish, lost a few good fish. But I'm going, heading to the ramp. I'm gonna pick up my mate. We're gonna, uh, throw the net get some baits and come back out for a jack session so hopefully we get fish in that and you'll see that soon uh, cheers for watching guys catch you next time That's why you don't fish six pound in known big fish areas.